Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next category is consumer, that is they just consume food. They do not prepare food on their own, but they depend on other living organisms for their food. So these organisms depend on producers either directly or indirectly. So what do we mean by directly and indirectly? Now when we say that an organism depends on producer for its food directly, that means it directly consumes the producer. And what are producers? They are the green plants. So if an animal is directly consuming the green plant, that means they are directly dependent on producer for their food. Indirectly means they are not consuming the producer directly, that means they do not consume green plants directly, but they are consuming something else which is dependent on producer. So it is something like, uh, for example, let us suppose we take example of a cow. So a cow feed on plants, it directly feeds on plants. So that means cow is a consumer who is directly dependent on a producer, that is green plant. Now let us take an example of another animal, let us say, um, some other animal, say a lion. So in this example of a lion which feeds on a uh, say cow, so in that case the lion is also dependent on plants but it is indirectly dependent on plants because it is not directly eating up a plant but it is eating up an animal which eats plants. So that means all the consumers will directly or indirectly depend on the producers, that is the plants. So consumers are also known as heterotrophs. Now what is the meaning of heterotrophs? Hetero means others. So these organisms are dependent on others for their food, that is why they are called heterotrophs. Now similarly, the producers are known as autotrophs. Auto means self, they are dependent on themselves, so they are called autotrophs. Now some of the examples of consumers are animals, insects, birds, human beings. So these are all examples of consumers. That is, in fact, except plants, all other organisms, they are, they are going to fall under, uh, they are not going to fall under the producer category. However, there are quite a few animals which, who fall under the category of decomposers. So we will see that a little later. So now again, these consumers, since a, a huge variety of animals fall under the category of consumers, so a further classification has been done. So these consumers are again based on their specific food habit. They have been further classified into the following types. That is herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. So these are the further classification of consumers. And parasites. So they are all consumers, that is they are all dependent on other organisms for their food but how exactly they derive their food based on that they are divided into the following categories. So we will talk about each of these categories now. So we will start with the herbivores. So what are herbivores? Now from the name itself you can guess herb. Herb means something related to the plants, right? You would have heard about herbal medicines, herbal cosmetics. So what is herbal? Something which is derived from nature, which is derived from plants or plant products. So herbivores are those animals which directly eat plants. So these organisms feed directly on producers and who are producers? Plants are the producers. So examples of herbivores would be, could be a goat, for example, here you see a goat could be a herbivore because it feeds only on plants. A cow could be a herbivore again because it feeds only on plants. So these are examples of herbivores. Herbivores are also known as primary consumers. Why? Because these are the consumers who like it is like if you look at it in, in the form of levels. So the first level was producer. Why? Because they could produce their own food. Now the next level would be consumer and that to which consumer which directly feed on producer. So that is why they are primary consumers. That means all those which directly feed on plants are primary consumers. So herbivores are also primary consumers. So examples goat, cow, buffalo, horse these are all examples of herbivores. Next is carnivores. So these are organisms which feed on herbivores. So they do not directly feed on plants, but they feed on animals which feed on plants. 
So the uh, for example here you can see lion and tiger they, these are examples of carnivores because they feed on they can eat a goat they can eat a cow they can eat a buffalo so basically they indirectly depend on plants and they eat up herbivores so they are called carnivores so examples would be lion tiger and they are known as secondary consumers why because they they are in yet another the next level so that means after primary consumer comes the secondary consumer and the secondary consumer feeds on the primary consumer primary consumer feeds on the producer so carnivores are secondary consumers so examples lion tiger third one is the primary carnivores now even the carnivores again can be further classified now car carnivores are all those animals which feed on herbivores that is which feed on other animals which depend on plants directly for their food so these carnivores can again be sub classified so the primary carnivores and again the secondary carnivores so what are primary carnivores so these are organisms which feed on herbivores directly now as i gave you an example a lion a lion can feed on or a lion can eat a goat right so let us suppose if a lion let us try to understand it like this let us suppose we have a lion and this lion is eating up a goat now this lion can also eat up a human being right a lion can eat up a goat and a lion can also eat up a human being so what is a goat goat directly feeds on plants so that means goat is a herbivore so in this case the lion is directly feeding on the herbivore so this in this particular food chain the lion would become a primary carnivore that means those organisms which feed on herbivores directly but in this case the lion is feeding on humans and humans do they directly feed on plants humans can eat plants humans can also eat animals so the humans can also eat something like a fish and this fish can eat maybe a plant or any other animal so basically in this case the lion is not eating up the herbivore directly it is eating up an animal which feeds on herbivores so basically the level is increasing in this case so in this case the lion is not a primary carnivore so primary carnivore is that animal which feed on herbivores directly so examples would be frog grasshopper so these are all not frog or grasshopper this basically gives you a food chain so here you have plants so let us say that this grasshopper feeds on the plants and the frog feeds on the grasshopper so in this case this frog is an example of a primary carnivore because the frog feeds on an animal which is feeding on plant so that is why this is a primary carnivore now let us see an example of a secondary carnivore these are organisms which feed on primary carnivores now let us suppose on the same food chain like you can say that in this case only the frog might be eaten up by a bigger animal so that bigger animal becomes a secondary carnivore so a frog might be eaten up by the snake so the snake becomes a secondary carnivore so lion tiger sharks wolves they all can fall under the category of secondary carnivores now one interesting thing i would like to mention here is the concept of food chain i will talk about food chain also a little later but i'm sure all of you would have known about what is a food chain now in this entire food chain now one organism can feed on multiple other organisms for example a lion can feed on a goat a lion can also feed on a human being a lion can eat up uh, a cow a lion can eat up a buffalo so a particular animal has lot of options to eat upon now depending upon which particular organism that particular animal is feeding on it is decided whether it is a primary carnivore or a secondary carnivore because if i talk about a food chain like this the first one where the lion is eating up the goat in that case the lion appears to be a primary carnivore but when i talk about a food chain like this the second one there the lion appears to be a 
secondary carnivore so depending upon the food chain of which that particular animal is a part it is decided whether that animal should fall under the category of primary carnivore or it should fall under the category of secondary carnivore so i hope the concept of primary and secondary carnivores is clear now okay so with this we have covered two uh, different types of consumers one is herbivore and the other is carnivore now let us talk about the third one that is omnivores now omnivores are those which eat both plants as well as other animals so it is like an intermediate or it is like a mix of the herbivore and carnivore so it eats plants also and it eats other animals also so they are called omnivores so the best example is human beings so organisms which feed on both plants and animals they are omnivores and best example as i said human beings cat rat monkey these are all examples of omnivores so they eat plants they also eat other animals and the fourth type of consumer that is parasites so what are parasites now parasites are those organisms that live on or in another organism and derives food now this means that you have one organism and that organism is living inside the body of another organism you can take a couple of examples let us suppose in in case of human beings so inside the human body you might have some small microorganisms living inside our body so those organisms derive their food from our body so they are parasites similarly you can think of tape worms so what are tape worms they are also worms which might enter our body either through food like uh, if a meat or uh, fish or these kind of food items are not cooked properly so tape worms might be present there and with that it might en enter inside the human body now once it enters inside the body what happens it start taking nutrition from the human body so human body acts as the host and that tape worm becomes the parasite so in this case so parasite again is another type of consumer where you live inside another organism and you obtain your food for your sustenance for that organism and at the same time sometimes you also cause harm to that organism for example when the tape worm enters the human body the tape worm just take away all the nutrition from the host and it also gives out excretions which are extremely harmful and can cause infection in the human body so it get takes all the benefit from the human body and at the same time it also harms the body so this is another type of consumer because this this parasites will also fall under the category of consumer because they depend on another organism for their food so examples would be tape worms in human intestines as i was mentioning you just now so in this case it takes away all the benefit and it also harms the human body so these are the different types of consumers so although they harm the host their intention is not to kill the host as they survive on host so that is something quite common right i mean you never want to break your own house because that is where you stay so similarly the tape worms don't want to harm they don't want that the human being should die because if the human being dies the tape worm will also eventually die but what happens is as a part of the process now the tape worms will definitely excrete because that is a part of their life process and their excretions being harmful to the human body will cause harm to the body thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again